Good morning, guys. Uh, so today is actually why we're here. Uh, might be like a winter blend tasting at some point, but right now there's a. I don't know if you know that guy. He's from uh, this podcast called the Agave Social Club. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hike up to the Mirador where. Um, just has this gorgeous view of all the Fortaleza land, but all of the city of Tequila as well. I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I'm already out of breath, so this is gonna be fun. Um, and it's like 9:40 in the morning, and now we're already tasting some tequila. So it's gonna be a good day, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. <laughs> Influencers in the wild over there. I'm over here <laughs> talking to my phone. Doug is over there talking to his camera. And now um, we hung out a little bit up there and you guys saw how gorgeous that view was. And now we're going to walk a little bit through the fields and we'll go down to. They have this little area like underneath a mango tree and a gazebo that, you know, if you've been to any Fortaleza uh, industry trips, you've been there. And rumor has it. That's where we're going to do a whole tasting of the Winter Blend 2022. So now we're actually going to do a little, you know, the tour explaining how Fortaleza is made and all that. See all the guys behind me here. I already have a video on that, so I'm not going to show you guys that now. What I'm going to do is put a link to the video right here where you can watch if you want to know how Fortaleza is made. Just click on that video and uh, you see it. But yeah, I'm not going to show you guys that again, you know, so. So after those amazing fish tacos for lunch, we walked over to the Golden Gate Bridge of Fortaleza that sits in this little lake that they have in the property. And that leads to this little piece of land with a gazebo on it. And what better place for us to try the Fortaleza Winter Blend 2022. Now, I don't believe in ranking the winter blends. I don't think this is what that project is about. This is about just seeing how wood reacts to different tequilas. But this one, guys, is just incredible. As I'm sure you know, the winter blend is different blends of tequilas together with their reposado right so for this one what they did was they got their high proof blanco and they put it in a hungarian oak barrel for six months they removed that which is now a reposado right and then refilled that same barrel again with the blanco but for this time it was only five months and you can tell the difference in colors already and then they also got their high proof blanco again and aged it for six months in a french oak oloroso cherry wine barrel they removed that after six months and then again the same process five months in the same barrel with the blanco so they got those four different barrels, right? Two Hungarian oak, two French oak, blended that together. Then they blended that with the regular reposado in American oak. It's about 60% of American oak reposado. And then they bottled it at around 43 ABV. And it's just incredible. What I really loved about getting to taste different stages of this winter blend is when you try the finished process, you really see oh, you know, I recognize that note from this fill and I get this note from the second fill and you really see how, you know, the winter blend is just a beautiful project that is showing us how wood reacts to tequila and I love that. Uh, I get like taste very dry, tannic notes. And then as the day couldn't get any better, we got to jump on on these 4x4 electric golf carts with Guillermo and explore the Fortaleza property and just hear him talk and hear his passion, not just for tequila making, but for agave growing as well. And it was an amazing time. Much bigger than the rest that are around it and six foot tall. That's huge. Go to Mexico, you'll have fun. <laughs> Hello, everything is modern. These two rows were planted a different way. I opened up the soil about, I'd say about that deep with a disc. And we filled it with, with um, organic dirt. 
and then we closed on top of it and then we planted on top of it now the only thing i didn't do in this experiment was sterilize the organic dirt before we put it in there because that's a because in organic there's always eggs of all kinds of animals in sure. there of what's up guys so right now it's like in the middle of the afternoon it's about 5 16 that's not the middle of the afternoon but anyway um the point right now is that we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna have a little party at the cave at Fortaleza. And now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I wanna enjoy this. So I might not be filming everything, but I'll take you guys with me. I'm not, again, gonna be wearing a microphone or anything like that. I'm gonna be really focusing on enjoying this time and hanging out with, you know, Don Guillermo, Eric Salsa, with Stefano, with Doug, and all these awesome people. And yeah, so let's go. It might just be a compilation of what the night is gonna look like. Man, I look really tired. It's been, it's been a few days, um, but yeah, so I never want to lose track of how amazing this place is and how amazing it is that I get to experience this and hang out with some of my best friends and work together with them. So I know how awesome this is. This is how the party went. You 